No. I don't know. No, I think there are a lot hey. of people here. Hello, hello. Okay. If, if hey. you want, we can. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know what's going on uh, with my. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my internet. It's coming in and out. Sometimes I get a good reception. Sometimes it goes. It's weird. All right. And what are you guys doing right now? What are you practicing on? I'm working on the platform. Okay. What what section are you on? The factual information questions. Oh, okay. Let's look. Is the ring What section? What section are you on? I. What section are you on? Section A, negative factual information. Preparation. Question. Section A, about the reading section. You can one reading, type of questions, A, negative factual information uh -huh. questions and factual information questions. Oh, okay, 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 I see it. Oh, so section green. A, green. negative green. factual information. Green. All right, let's check green. it out. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. All right, here we go. Let's listen. I'm sorry? I think I was ahead of everybody else or just a little bit ahead because I was already in the reading practice. Oh, okay. That. That's, yeah. that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you can advance, you can do it. There are there is no limit to your progress on the platform. As a matter of fact, um, the more that you advance, the better. Honestly, I was actually I was actually gonna try to speak with somebody so I can probably uh, take a like a leveling test because I think uh, well it's not to be conceited or anything, but I think my level of English is a little bit higher than this. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, maybe you can write me and maybe I can help you out with that. Okay, all right. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, is it okay if I uh, skip this part over here? Because I wasn't expecting to visit today, but I have uh, visitors. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That's no. Okay. That's not an issue. Okay, I'll speak to you later then. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Yvette. Good night, guys. Good night. All right, guys, so right now uh, we are going to be looking at negative factual information questions and factual information questions. Negative factual information questions, let's try a negative factual question. Let's watch the video and then we will we'll have the discussion. Are you ready? Okay, let's do yes. it. Okay, let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's we are ready. We are ready. I'm like praying to God the internet is good. Actual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so. Or you may play this. In this case, guys, I would like for everybody to take notes. Note taking is a very important part of the TOEFL test, especially in the reading section. So uh, please take notes. Get out a notebook, piece of paper whatever, but please take notes. This audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. For negative factual information questions, look for the words NOT or ACCEPT in capital letters. Keep this step in mind. 
for the negative factual information questions, remember that you're looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Now let's try a negative factual question. Here's a paragraph about sports and its risks, and here is the answer. To begin with, you know it's a negative factual information question because of the word except in capital letters. So three of the choices are going to match information in the paragraph, and only one will. Okay, let me have one volunteer, please. I would like for you to read the text. One volunteer, I would like for you to read the text. Me? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Read the text, please. Okay. Almost all sports and outdoors leisure activities carry real risk. Swimmers drown, containers fall, sky and sweep away by avalanche, and boxers are killed by blows to hell. A person's skill or experience is no guarantee against disaster. In fact, the better the better an athlete is, the greater the temptation to break record or success, success in doing something that has never been done before. Danger which tests nervous courage and skills is an essential element that adds thrill and enjoyment to a sport. Also, those who organize sports formulate their rules in a way to minimize, minimize minimize the risk of injury. Minim minimize. Minimize the risk of injury and to ensure that medical assistance is real Readily, Re readily available. Readily available. Readily, readily available. No amount of caution can alter basic facts. Even the best trained horsemen panic. Motorcycles give little protection in crash, and a hard driving golf ball can go straight. According to the all the following are risks in a sport, except. All right. So, according to this passage, we're going to be looking at factual information questions. According to the passage, all of the following are risks in sports, except falls, storms, accidents, and avalanches. Let's watch. not. Let's see how many correct choices we can find by scanning for keywords that appear in the answers, like mountaineers fall, risks, avalanches, and so on. So this is what we call scanning. Scanning is a very important aspect of the, when you're doing the TOEFL. Who can tell me what is the meaning of scanning? What is the meaning of the word scanning? Look for some. Just look main, like main for world. specific words. That's right. To look at specific words related to a specific topic. In this case, we have swimmers drown. That's an accident on sports. Mountaineers fall. That's an accident on sports. Skiers are swept away by avalanches. That's an accident caused by sports. Um, and boxers are killed. Okay, this is another one. Boxers killed by punches to the head. So it says, according to the passage, all of the following are risks in sports, except which one? Falls? No, right? Because it says mountaineers fall. Storms, mm, well, avalanches are created by storms, but they don't fall by storms. So 
could be storms. Accidents, yes, right? Skiers are swept away by avalanches. That's an accident. Swimmers drown. That's an accident. And avalanches clearly is there. So what do you think is the most relevant answer uh, according to the text? Who can tell me what is the most relevant answer? Falls, storms, accidents, or avalanches? Storms. Storms. Very good. Storms. We may also need to look for synonyms of these words. So if we scan the paragraph or some text above falls, that corresponds to choice A. We find this and it's a match. For choice C, we found that information here where it talks about risks. Choice D is here where it talks about skiers are swept away by avalanches. But there's nothing in the paragraph that talks about storms. So choice B looks like it might be the answer. Therefore, choice B is our answer. Correct. Excellent. So basically, guys, what we need to understand is that whenever you're going to be doing the reading section, you need to skim and scam. Now, Mr. Santos, how am I going to improve my skimming and scanning? All right. So in order for you to do that, my recommendation would be, according to what we see on the video, is whenever you are doing literature, it, it doesn't matter if it's in Spanish or in English, as long as you are practicing this ability, practice the ability to skim and scan. All right. And the only way to do that is to sit down, get a magazine, uh, a newspaper, a book, whatever you're, whatever you're studying, and practice reading through skimming and scanning. That is an essential skill that you have to develop. Searching for specific information, skimming and scanning. That means going through it quickly, not reading in detail. But this is something that you must practice. Any questions at this moment? Questions at this no. moment? No. All right, let's watch the next video. We will now move on talking about factual information questions. They are similar to the previous type because they ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as mayor idea. This is a very important um, section. I would like for everybody, please pay attention to this section. Right here where it says major ideas. Supporting details, definitions. What does that mean? That means that whenever you are doing the reading section, you're going to have different types of questions. You're going to have questions that are going to ask you for the main idea in the paragraph or the main idea in the article. Who can tell me where you normally find the main idea in a reading, in a paragraph, in an article, or in a journal, where? Where in that article do you normally find the main idea? Who can tell me? In the introduction. Very good, in the introduction. Usually the main idea is presented within the first three sentences in the article or in the paragraph. Very good. And supporting details, in what section of the text do you usually see the supporting details? In the middle, right? In the middle of the text, um, probably in the second or third sentence of the paragraph, you see supporting details, basically, 
extra information about the main idea? And what about definitions? How are you going to be able to identify a definition of a word in a context? How? Any, any ideas? If I say to you, what is the meaning of the word clever in this context? How are you going to know? If I say to you, for example, she used to be a clever girl until she got that boyfriend. Now she's kind of foolish. Who can tell me what is the meaning of the word clever in this context? Freddie, intelligent. intelligent, very good. How do you know, Freddie? Uh, well, because, for example, in the last of the sentence, is the opposite. Correct. Foolish. So the word <laughs> foolish means not intelligent. So clever means the opposite. Excellent, Freddie. So that is the type of identification that you're going to do. The reading is going to say, what is the meaning of this phrase in this context? Maybe the meaning, the, maybe the phrase has many different meanings depending on the context, right? So you have to be able to identify definitions according to the surrounding words in the text. Let us continue. Yes, supporting details or definitions. Factual information questions would have phrases like, according to the paragraph, or paragraph X answers which of the following in the question. Here's a tip for answering factual information questions. Don't automatically select an answer just because it contains words or phrases from the paragraph. Make sure you carefully evaluate each option to determine if it is correct. Take a look at sample factual information questions. Go on reading the passage. Remember, factual information questions look for only one right answer. All right, so we're going to do a factual information question sample. Let me have a volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, please. Uh-oh, Evelyn Hovell, you are the volunteer. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn Hovell. I'm sorry, the paragraph that say that. Yes, in the 11th century. Okay, in the 11th century, people noticed that if a small hole were, I'm sorry, but I can't see because I don't have my glasses. Okay, and okay. The, very small can you uh oh uh, really i i can zoom? i really <laughs> can i really can't but uh it's okay maybe next time let's let's have somebody else select somebody evelyn oh. okay um uh that is freddy freddy you are next <laughs> Okay, in the 11th century, people noticed that if a small hole were put in the one wall of a darkened room, then light coming through the aperture will make a picture of the scene outside on the opposite wall of the room. A room like this was called a camera obscura. 
artist later used a box to create a camera obscura <laughs> with a lens in its opening to make the picture clearer. But it was not possible to preserve the image, the ima image, image, the image that image. was the image that was produced in the box. In 1727, Johann Heinrich chose <laughs> mixed chalk, silver, and nitric acid in a bottle. He found that when the mixture was subject, subjected to light, it became darker. In 1826, Joseph Nifor, Nips put some paper dipped in a light sensitive chemical into his camera obscura, which he left exposed in a window. The result was probably the first permanent photographic image. The image Nipsey made was a negative, a picture in which all the white parts are black and white parts to make positive prints. Um, but when he looked at the picture in the light, the chemicals continued to react and the picture went dark. In 1836-37, he found a way to fix the image. This image the, these images are known as daguerreotypes. Daguerreotypes. All right, stop right there, Freddie. Select somebody. Very good job, Freddie. Excellent pronunciation. Mm, Marden Noches. Marden Noches. You are next. Many developments. Okay. Many development of photographic equipment were made in the 19th century. Glass, glass plates coated with light sensitive chemicals were used chemicals. to produce chemicals were used to produce clear sharp positive print on paper in the 87 1870s 1870s, 1870s, 1870s George Eastman proposed using roll of paper film coated with chemical to replace chemicals glass. chemicals chemicals sorry. chemicals with a k chemicals. to replace glazes glaze plates then 1888, Eastman began manufacturing the Kodak camera. Camera. The Ca first camera. Camera. That's right. The first modern lightweight camera that people could carry and use. Excellent. During Thank you. Stop right there. Stop right there. Thank you, Martin. Excellent pronunciation. Please select somebody else. Okay, let me check. My friend, Rodrigo Ardon. Rodrigo Ardon, you are next during the 20th century. Okay. So, uh, I, so tell Just me. Just only read. Where is the, the next paragraph? During the 20th century is the last paragraph. Is the last paragraph. The last paragraph. All right, we're going to come back to Rodrigo. Uh, let's have, mm, let me see, let me have. Light at the end of the scene with all your experience have you come across any particularly useful tools or techniques to help uh, her? all your technique all your years of acting all of everything delivers you to uh, a moment where you are discovering what you're going to do next and you don't truly know 
all that matters is if you're literally truly there in this moment. And that's just a crapshoot for all of us, no matter how much technique or anything we have. Keep acting, keep working, keep learning. For me, it was, it's, the Meisner technique was really helpful. Because all right, guys, really sorry about that. Back in action. Your shirts were delicious, delicious. So let's look at this section right here. According to the passage, what problem did Daguerre encounter? Who can tell me? His pictures were all negative images. He could not find a way to make positive images. His positive images would darken. He could not reverse the fixed image. I think letter C. Letter C, his positive images would darken. Why do you say that? <laughs> mm, because uh, that say in the, uh, the second paragraph, uh, mm -hmm. almost in the end, I mm -hmm. say that I understand that the 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 picture when is in the light uh, that's right turn, turn to the dark i think that's right that is correct all right let's check it out Hi. All right, guys. Um, at this moment, uh, we're going to go ahead and stop. Uh, almost everybody's gone, and we've had bad internet connection all day. I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess it's the wind. I don't know. It's weird. I've never had bad okay. internet connection. I'm working on the platform, so I think that we can advance there. Yes, of course. You can advance we'll fall as much over as there, possible. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, guys. Sorry. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. And you Thank can you. practice. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.